Hello, it's Sarah, and I just had to come back and share this little ATC kit. I've been playing with these ATCs that I got from your ATC, ATC store online, and I've done this one today, this little guy. Anywho, the one I'm working on, I just wanted to share this because I want to say it's the December... It's a December kit, but I already took it out of the wrapper and I can't be sure exactly what kit it is. Um, but it actually had a little house template. Let me zoom in a little bit. Cut on the solid line, score and fold on the dotted line, trace the house onto your paper. I've already done that and I just thought I wanted to share this. So here's the little, wait, where's the other? See, it says, house template so I just cut this out and then I put it on top I chose one of the papers this is all the stuff that came in the kit I chose one of the papers and I kind of like the red for the house and it's double-sided and this is good quality paper this is I know the brand of paper and I cannot think of it it begins with an A you guys know what I mean when you look at this paper paper crafters know anyway it's a very good quality cardstock. Um, I chose the red for my house, so I traced it out, and I've inked it on the um, lines. You know what? I'm going to fold this back, and I'm going to ink it too. But that's not all, okay? It came with this little cardboard backing, so that I can. I'm going to adhere it to that. But first, I think I am going to use. I already cut this down to use for the background. So that's what's going to show when you open the door and behind the house. I mean, there's just options up the wazoo. So here's what I was thinking before I did this. I wanted to share, but um, I was thinking I could add this for the house, the rooftop, to, just to make it different, to add a little something else. And I mean, it's a shame to waste this pretty paper, but I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put my house. I want it to be this dark color. So I'm just going to line it up at the edge. Kind of like that line right there and take my pencil and I'll connect that line because I'm going to leave the um, chimney red. And I'm just going to cut this and just see what it looks like because I mean she gives you so much to use, why not use it, you know? And I, I mean, you know, if I if I would have went over more and showed more white, that would have maybe looked like there was snow on the roof. I didn't even think of that. But I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to adhere that to the uh, roof. And I'm just using my advanced tape glider. It's just double-sided tape in a little machine that makes it super easy to um, get it onto the paper. And because this is just an ATC, it's not going to be handled very much. Or I don't remember if I said what an ATC is. Um, artist trading card. They're two and a half by three and a half little pieces of art. I'm going to, do I have a brad? I do have a brad. You know what? This little charm came in the kit. It's a wreath. How appropriate, right? So I have this little um, bag of brads. They're just tiny little star brads in all different color metal, and they happen to fit in these little jump rings. So that matches perfect. And I was thinking of putting it on the door, but I could also put it up here. And I think I do want to put it on here before, hmm, let me adhere. I'm going to adhere this to the backing. Because what I like to do, if I have a, uh, a brad that I'm going to stick through the paper, and I can hide the back of it, I'll do that. Bef so I would have put the brad in here and then glued it, and then you won't be able to see the back. But it's not going into this paper, so I'm safe. I can just adhere this now and I cut this down to two and a half by three and a half and then she gave me this little lovely piece of cardboard just to make your card more substantial artist trading cards are just little pieces of art that you can trade with your crafty friends 
or just collect. I kind of collect them. So that's my background. Then that's going to go, and look how she made it so it totally fits. Look, I got this little foam, fun foam tree. I got like holly, which I'm kind of thinking I might want to, I want to put it along the bottom. I might put it along the bottom, like not where the door is, just here and here. And then I got stars, holly, this piece. This can go under here. Definitely go in there. Um, I got this little holly leaf. And then there's home for the holidays, the words, which I really love. I think I'm going to put that there. I'm not sure. Um, all this stuff is in the kit. And you can use it or not use it. I actually have... I think this is going to pop nicely though. I could actually just put it up on the roof. Um, but you could back it with another piece. Of, oh, this is what I was going to show you. Look at this. So I could either put him on the outside. I have to put him on the inside of the door, right? Don't I? So you open the door and he's in there. I just love it. I mean, you could cut the door out. You, you, you know, like um, cut it off. So you, but you know what I have? I have these blings that are left over from another uh, project. And I could put that on for a little doorknob. But you know what? She gives you a little red sequin. You know what? I think I'm going to put the wreath on the door. I think the wreath belongs on the door. I got this little red string piping that I could put around the door to kind of you know, and then you could put bling on your tree to make it look. And I also got these uh, a couple three star like sequins and holly. So you could put holly up here like that. All right, so I'll go away and come back with it finished. But I just had to share. This is so, so cute. All right, it's all done. The only thing I didn't use was the tinsel. I cut it in half and I was going to use it for, um, I was going to put it up by the uh, root, the chimney, but this is what I have. So I, I did um, the little, I cut him out and put him inside the door and put the wreath on the door with a brad. I used that little red piping just around the door and up on the chimney and the rick rack there and I'm glad I changed the color of the roof it just gives it a little more dimension I could have raised up the home for the holidays but I think it's thick enough this paper is so thick and just put it put the little I mean isn't that cute so I just pulled a couple of um, pearls from my stash I have red pearls cheap red pearls and I just wanted to add those up here for the holly berries and that's it. So I just think these kits are, every time I play with them, I remember how fun they are. They're just for beginner paper crafters or even experienced paper crafters. They're just easy and you can just sit and not have to think about it because it's all included. And oh my gosh she's amazing she thinks of all this stuff this was all included in the kit everything you need all right you guys and like I said I think that's December I don't know what year though but I think it's one of the December ones and it came with this little template so oh see I did have a silver star shoot I think I'm going to change this out for the silver star I just saw that but I think that'll pop a little better I like that. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.